How's it going, everybody? Rye Brett here today, and we're bringing you a deck side edition of my reaction to the latest NHL 18 uh, gameplay trailer. They just released it today. Like I said, I am on vacation, but you know, I thought I might as well bring this one to you guys and let you know my thoughts on it. Uh, I'm going to be stop starting and stopping each um, after I have something to say. If you guys haven't seen it already, I'll put a card right up in the top there. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started with this trailer. NHL 18 is built for the new NHL. I see. Okay. All right. Sorry to stop so soon. I'm five seconds in the freaking video and I'm already stopping. Uh, but I really like the new Deeks they're adding, especially that one. I think that little sidestep is going to be boom or bust. Like as, as we saw here, he just, Lion A just absolutely destroyed that guy. That guy's ankle is not even facing the right way. But you can also get creamed if you do it at the wrong situation is what I'm thinking. So... Um, I, I like to see that new deke in there, the and then the snipe, the oh my god, oh. The and then, ooh, the and then just wait him out, that's, see, I wonder if you're gonna have to choose to wait him out, or you can pull the trigger whenever you want. Uh, might be something, you know, create a little skill gap within there, but who knows what it'll be. Um, yeah, I'm really liking these new dekes so far, I'm, I'm glad they're showcasing them. There's Jack Eichel, the little sidestep, yeah, we've seen that one before. There's the one-hand deke. I wonder how well that's going to work. And the defensive creative skill stick, I'm really excited for that. And then creative AI, that's something I want to touch on. I've already seen this, guys, so that's why I'm not going to play it once and then go back through it. And then three-on-three, three, I'm very excited for, especially if they're bringing it to EASHL, like they say. There are a ton of new moves so, ooh, in NHL 18. how, that, that fake between the legs, that'll be something fun. That that might make um that might make me do a shootout commentary, guys. We'll have to play around with the deeks and see what we can get done. But yeah, those between fakes, the and then there's the one-handed D. The, 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 the one, the between the legs pass will help a lot because there's a lot of times where you're stuck. You know, you pull it to your backhand or something, and then he wraps it around his legs, and it's just not what you want. But maybe a between the legs pass will uh, be that pass you want. And you know, I hope, I hope, I hope the uh, ability to execute is based on your passing rating. Cheeky puck flip. And then oh, that puck flip, that's going to be dirty online. When, when you go on to online shootouts, those little cheeky puck flips are going to be nasty. There's the windmill. Nice. Okay, and then a little side... Okay, so you can sidestep with the windmill. That's pretty cool. And then, yep, we've seen that one before. Yep. This that little sidestep. See, like that right there. If there's somebody in the middle there, you're going to get crushed. But that opens up enough space for you to go ahead and take a nice shot as well. And then this, I'm really excited for this, the skill stick, right there. Like, you can not only just hold your stick out, but you can actually push it away. Yeah, the sweeping of the stick. And they gotta get that balancing right. They can't have the offensive creative attack deeks, you know, be too overpowered. And defenses are just helpless, because defense has been helpless for the past couple of years. Uh, but I'm really liking the defensive skill stick uh, animations and the way they look. Like, this play right here with Seth Jones is really, really nice looking. And really, really makes it look like authentic hockey. And then this right here. See all these lines? This is what the AI is seeing when it's carrying the puck out of the zone. Now, I'm hoping that offensive awareness or your awareness category for your teammates will actually affect this because I think that would be a great way to actually make it more than an overall boost. Like, if offensive awareness affects which path they choose, that would be great. And now that they'll be able to pass off the boards, there. Like, yeah, and then they'll find you behind the net. Nice. And then the good breakout opportunity there. Off the boards, find you there. That's awesome. Okay. And you can see the, okay, yeah, you can see the AI just use the, um, Matthews used that little sidestep, or the little toe drag shot. Uh, and then, as you can see the skill stick there used by the Anaheim defenseman. And then, yeah, the defenseman were kind of helpless there. So, all right, now three on three ESHL. This is pretty exciting. This should be pretty fun. You'll have a lot of puck hogs though, so just be used to that. And then bang, all these deeks. Oh god, this the the just the ability you're gonna have to play this game is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Jesus, somebody needs new breaks. Alright guys. So that looks really good to me. It was a little short trailer, a minute thirty, minute forty-five, so but we did see a lot in there. We saw the deeks and how they're going to work, and we saw the skill stick. Now, I think it's going to be tough to master the skill stick, and some people are just going to be swapping around. Hopefully, it doesn't become where people just go back and forth or just leave it in one spot and you can't do anything. Hopefully, it'll actually be more like real hockey where you got to position your stick in the right position. Um, if you don't do that, you might be burned a couple times. But these creative deeks, you can, it looks like a lot of them, you're going to be able to hold on to the puck, you know, which is something nice when you try these deeks. Uh, but it looks like you're also going to get creamed, which is something I personally like because you won't just be helpless on defense, you know. And, you know, on offense, you got to plan your attack, you know, accordingly. So I definitely think that this is a really, really good step in the right direction. Now, we notice the graphics aren't anything too special or anything different, but the um, 
but the deeks and the animations and whatnot are really, really good. And I wonder how the goalies are going to react. That's what I'm really interested to see. Uh, oh yeah, creative AI. That is very, very nice that they're going to be passing off the boards. Now, hope they don't overuse it, you know, just because, uh, you know, you don't want your AI just constantly passing off the boards when they could have just gotten you a straight out breakout pass. But it's really nice to see the AI working on the breakout. Uh, and maybe you won't get so many cheese goals by just, uh, you know, dead man doing a dead man's chase in the offensive zone. But yeah, I'm very, very excited about this, guys. Uh, lots of great deeks. Lots of, the, the defensive skill stick is something I want to get my hands on and play with personally. So with July 26th, when the beta comes out, very, very excited for that. Got to get my hands on it, going to play it. Uh, and I'll definitely bring, be bringing you guys some gameplay, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see some of that when it first comes out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.